Hi, in this slide uh, I'm taking a previous clip slide with the pyramid and boundaries for different strata of customers within a segment. Um, and I'm superimposing on that what I would call a service value allocation or a service value model map. I think historically basically distributors kind of went to market with a standard way starring outside salespeople. And you know, they whether they, you were a DC or B account, it didn't matter. You were maybe you were a house account, and you got standard prices. You know, you could call an inside sales number, eight hundred number. It would be pick pack in the warehouse, and out it would go. Um, and a lot of these people were being over serviced and underpriced, and that's one of the reasons they're so attracted to coming to you as opposed to going to some local hardware store or Home Depot or whatever and, and paying cash or using a credit card and driving themselves and so forth. So to make money on these D accounts, it turns out that we have to cut way back on our services or unbundle them and charge them for fees. So we said, look, if you, if you go to our website, enter the order electronically, put in your credit card, and then come down and pick it up, uh, there, and there's a minimum fee or a minimum amount, there's a service fee, then we can actually make money on you. And they'd say, well, forget it. You've got an inconvenient location. I can just go to you know a, a, a specialty retail store and buy it there, and they will. Because we're not set up. Uh, we're a shot putter trying to do a marathon thing here, or a different event. Uh, with the C, we could say we could provide a little bit more. In other words, you know, uh, maybe you get wholesale list prices and you get trade credit, but boy, you know, you're guilty until proven innocent, et cetera. Uh, and they may say, well, forget it. I'm, I'm going to go to the competitor who is more lenient and gives me more and doesn't beat me up and has happy to lose money taking care of me. Uh, when we get to the B account, we can add a little bit more as far as, you know, more aggressive pricing or bundling more terms like free freight if you get to a certain level or something like that and you get telesales or whatever. Now, the key thing, though, is, is that when you make the threshold to be getting covered by outside salespeople, $400 in margin up, look how it flutes out dramatically here. As opposed to over here, we delegated kind of discretionary value added to the outside salesperson. So they would naturally, time and territory management from the 60s and 70s, they, they would go out and try to call them bigger guys more often. Not that they had necessarily anything more proactively to say to help them, the customer build their bottom line or improve their service value chain. They're just saying, here I am, uh, what can I do? And if there are any problems, I'm the best reactive technical firefighter guy around. The answer is yes. Well, you know, it's easy to be a reactive technician, and that, therefore it was sort of a fair fight, and all salespeople were good, and all of the other guys that showed up on a regular basis had a decent service company, could get a share of the business, and you're in the game, the transactional arm's length game. But when we look at the, the net profitability ranking reports and we look at the scale of these customers and how different they can be as far as dysfunctional or highly functional buying, we realize that there's a difference here. There, it's like it's like uh, you know the the casino gamblers. They've got you know one diamond to seven diamonds, and these guys up here get flown in and you know private jets and limousine rides and comp rooms with thousands of square feet and so forth, and still are enormously profitable. So we have to, uh, with, with the bell-shaped curve, we've also got to flute out our total value proposition. And if we will, not only will we keep them and get a bigger share, we'll steal the competitions because the competition is still allocating this, uh, this, this, this uh, treatment to the individual outside sales rep and how are they going to compete against our total team with a richer, better offering. So we have to pick our strata, and then we've got to tune our service models, and we have to be totally team-focused on the, the 555 at the top of the, the A pyramid. Thank you.